Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So, you can see right near me here, I've got a big pile of stuff to go through. I actually wasn't going to go to the charity shops or anything like that. I literally went to one charity shop and then I went to one charity shop the day after and got one more of these items that you can see here. And on that day, I wasn't going to go to the charity shops. I walked into this one, it, by happenstance I was in there and uh, I went in and I saw this new room and there was a new room in there. And it was a big toy room and I thought, oh, I'll go in here. And suddenly I see all these different things in there that I could buy. And I go out of that room and I go out exploring around the rest of the charity shop. I see another couple of things I can buy. And there we go. And that's that. And I get uh, uh, enough, basically, to do a small haul video. So, uh, yeah, here we are. So why don't we get started? So first off, I will share with you the item that I picked up the day after the, the main trip where I got uh, most of the stuff from that one charity shop. And that was this one, which is an Ice Age Free Diego plush. Now, I did pay £3 for this because I saw in the... Uh, don't know whether you can see that there, probably just about. Um, because I saw in the charity shop on Complete and Sold when I was looking, one go for £15 pre-owned. So, before I was rudely interrupted by the train that went past, I was saying, of course, that I saw a few more on eBay, on Complete and Sold, also on Listed, and uh, I think it was one that was listed, actually, not, not on Complete and Sold, for £19.99, brand new. So, um, you know, I'm still thinking probably 15 quid. I still think I go for 15 quid on it. That's free postage, by the way. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I get it. And if I don't get it, I'll come down to maybe 12 99 maybe free post, something like that. £10 plus post, whatever kind of combination I'm doing it with. And uh, we will see and I'll get some money out of it. So that was okay. I mean, for three quid, not too bad. Still going to make some money on it. But potentially I could have been uh, better if I had got it for like one or two quid into sort of the twelve ninety nine plus post, £10 plus post, etc. So uh, yeah, that was that one there anyway. So next one is this line of duty. You can probably just about see it there. There is quite a bit of glare. Oh, that actually uh, rhymed as well. That's cool. Um, yeah, line of duty one to three, series one to three. Got my little post-it note on it. £10 free postage I am thinking of doing on this one. And I paid 50p for this in the box sets. I asked this older lady what the uh, prices are on the box sets. And to my amazement, she said, they're 50p, as far as I'm aware, we always do these at 50p. I was thinking, I don't think I've been to a charity shop in ages where they've said, we do these box sets for 50p. Normally people say, oh, the box sets are £3, or the box sets are £2, etc. But 50p, I was amazed at that. So yeah, 50p for that one, into hopefully £10 free post. I'll take that all day long, that's a good margin. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, I got Life on Mars. Now, these, unfortunately, aren't new and sealed. I've had these new and sealed before. Um, now, they have come, come down in price a little bit, both pre-owned and brand new and sealed. I think when we were brand new and sealed, I used to be able to get more than this, but they seem a lot of the time to be going for 25 quid as a pair, brand new and sealed. Uh, now, again, these were 50p each, so a pound cost to me. Um, but unfortunately, I'm only going to be lucky uh, looking to get £10 free post on them and that is actually if I'm lucky because I've seen on Complete and Sold some that have gone for £8, £9 for the pair uh, when they're pre-owned. Now these discs are in beautiful condition so that's not too much of a worry or anything like that and that means that obviously I've got a better shot at selling them because you know the discs are in really good condition and the boxes are also in good condition. Um, but yeah, a little bit disappointed with that because I thought maybe it would be worth a little bit more. I could maybe try and push it a bit. In fact, I might try and push it a bit. Maybe maybe put them on for twelve ninety nine, something like that. See if I can't just push that up a little bit, push that price up a bit, considering that mine are in really good condition for pre-owned. So we'll see on that one there. But those were those two there. And that concludes the DVD box sets and the plush toy section of the haul. Now we are on to board games. Now, what I do with board games these days is generally I will only pick up vintage ones that I know are, are half decent, or I will pick up, um, other than that, I'll pick up like sort of newer ones that I know will be a fast flip. And again, when I'm talking about the vintage ones, I don't just mean like the really high value ones like Hero Quest or anything like that, because 
and chances are you're not going to find them all the time or anything but i mean also the vintage ones that are slightly lower price but i know that they're a good sort of bread and butter buy shall we say so first off we've got this uh connect four uh, and that is going to go for between 10 and 12 pound now i do believe that some of these board games in fact most of them have come down in price since i was last selling board games so i did when i was buying them i thought to myself well maybe i'll be able to get a bit more than I, i'm gonna actually be able to get um but still on this one 10 to 12 pound free post uh, and i paid two pound on that one you can see £2 there. In fact, I believe I paid £2 for all of the board games you're going to see. And with most of them, the £2 stickers should still be on. But I've also wrote it on the post-it note for you in most cases as well. Um, so yeah, but, I mean, the box is a little bit dinged up and stuff. It's not the most perfect box. But still, that's not going to detract from its value too much or anything. But yeah, I, I think at one point this was maybe slightly higher. Maybe 15 to 20 quid or something like that. But certainly with Connect 4... Connect 4 isn't, even in its vintage form, isn't a board game that's been, you know, most sought after or anything like that. Uh, I also got another Connect 4. I thought I'd pick two of them up since there was two of them there. Again, £2. The post-it note again here just says the same information on it. £10 to £12 free post. Uh, and I paid £2 there on that one. So that's those two. Now, I also got Guess Who. Guess Who's a brilliant one to pick up, or it used to be much more brilliant than it is now. I think the highs on this board game were around 35, 40 quid at one point. This, I believe, is the 1987. Yeah, 1987 version. Um, so I'm going to be going for between 15 and 20 pound. I believe it says plus post there as well. Again, two pound paid on this one. Um, yeah, it is a shame that this one's come down quite a lot in price because, you know, it, it was a good board game and it really was going to go for, for better money. Um, but unfortunately, you know, these days, a lot of things have come down. A lot of items on eBay have come down in price. And that is, of course, due to the fact that a lot of people get involved with reselling these days just on a part-time basis. Um, and that obviously means that because there's loads more part-time resellers and things like that, uh, the, the price has come down. And also, like, there might generally be a bit less demand these days for whatever reason here or there. Um, but I think, uh, really, with COVID and stuff, especially, like, last year in 2020, there seemed to be like a, a spike where there was a lot more demand and because people weren't getting out, we couldn't buy things in the flesh so much. So they were all turning to online and buying things there and stuff. But no matter what the reason, a lot of prices have come down and it is a bit of a shame. But still, that's that one there anyway. 15 to 20 quid, uh, £2 paid. Next, we have Downfall. Again, vintage version. What what one's this? What... Uh, year is this 1985 this square box version you can also get a triangular box version of this i always forget which is the better one which is a more valuable one there's only a slight discrepancy it's not like a huge difference in value i have a feeling it's a rectangular one but don't quote me on that um but yeah this one i am looking for 20 pound plus post is that there i think it's plus post um and again two pound paid as with practically all of these board games um so yeah that's a nice one to pick up if you ever find that vintage down for you know you find it for a quid or two at a car boot or even maybe three quid get it pick it up and uh yeah you should be able to flip that that's not not a bad one really and then finally a board game i still pick up because it seems to have held its own um not necessarily in price like you know it's fluctuated a bit in price it, sometimes you you could have got a bit more than this these days this is coming in at around a tenner you know in the past you may have been able to get a bit more than that but in terms of it's like saleability it's held its own uh whenever i have this game it always goes fairly quick and that is frustration there as you can see um and you might be able to see on there the post-it note 10 pound is that plus post 10 pound plus post and again, I paid £2 for it. Again, the box isn't in the best condition, but that shouldn't affect things too much because I've had this game quite a lot and I've had the boxes in pretty poor condition and it still goes for that tenner. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad at all. 
Um, but yeah, I think there was one time where this was slightly higher in value, um, but still, nonetheless, it's one of the good, slightly more modern ones to still pick up. This is the 2000 version, so I say modern, it's actually vintage now, this board game. Can you believe that? 2000 is vintage now. 2001 is vintage now. That's, that's incredible to think that, but yeah, so that's that one there anyway. So that is everything, that's the, that's the whole... Some nice board games there, shouldn't be too hard to work through, to check, etc. And then obviously get listed. I quite like photographing board games, they're not too hard where you just put the contents out, put the back of the board up, uh, back of the uh, box up there like that. So then you're using it as kind of like a, almost a display, shall we say, and then the board there. And then nice little photo, that's what I do at least. Um, and uh, do a few more photos and stuff with it. And it's nice and easy plush toys and stuff with very same case were really easy to photo and stuff and of course anything like new and sealed box sets or box sets in general they're they're fairly easy to work with so that's what i try and do these days i've said it in other haul videos i try and get things easy you know i try and make things easy for myself so then i'm not you know having to test loads and loads of things or do loads and loads of really intricate te uh, checks or anything on things um you know some of the board games might take me a little longer to check than others but since i've done it quite a lot i know what i'm doing with the board games i've had all of these board games before at one stage or another most of the time multiple times as well um so of course that means that i can check them fairly quickly these days so yeah not too bad I'll leave it there, guys. If you did like it, then please whack a like on it. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing. Uh, drop any comments, questions, or queries down below. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.